Now, I have finished the healing process on my unfortunately somewhat botched um, permanent eyeliner. However, she managed to sort of butterfly it out a little bit, so it actually looks pretty intentional. Um, if you want a more subtle line up there, especially now that I've got the bleached out platinum blonde hair, simply go over that with your shadow just to attenuate it a bit. So what I'm going to start out with is a wash of the white. So it's got the very primary names, magenta, white, silver, gold, deep plum, lime green, etc. Which we have with the um, Crayola palette for coloring. So what I'm going to do is take the thicker brush and I'm going to go over that with our built-in mirror. Okay, over the whole lid. All right, next I'm going to choose a color for the crease. And since I've got a slightly hooded lid, I'm going to cut a crease uh, sort of um, artificially, if you will. And since I wore my light up Hanukkah sweater yesterday without actually lighting it up, I'm going to go with a slightly more, I'm gonna do the purple and the orange together. So as you, it's very highly pigmented. It's about a $30 palette when it's not on sale. So uh, the color payoff is, is quite excellent. You get a shallow pan of it, but you know, still it's gonna last you a while because of the density of the pigment. So I'm going to just cut a crease like that, okay? Now, of course, I'm not a professional. I'm someone who enjoys makeup and who has quite a bit of experience doing makeup. But if there's anyone out here who is a professional who has any ideas about perhaps a better way of applying makeup, especially for the sort of the hooded uh, eyelid, I would of course appreciate that. You can always go for the graphics and the fold of the eyelid and then, I don't know, I, I like to call it the uncircumcised eyelid. I don't know why, that just for whatever reason kind of amuses me. And so what I'm going to do for the inside I'm going to very lightly blend in the orange. It's a sparkly orange color. Okay. And I'll take some of the gold, mix some of the gold with it. And I don't want to blend it too much because you don't want a bruise effect when you have two very opposite colors. Go on the other side. Okay. Put the orange. All right. And then put a bit of the gold in here on the inside. There we go. And if you want to just take a wash of the yellow or something up above to sort of mix in with that white that was applied earlier, that's always something that can be done. And just make sure you're always using a brush that uh, has been cleaned so you don't get deposit from the day before or whatnot. Yeah, I'll go over that maybe one more time with the white. There we go. Yeah. Let's make sure that's blended up above because that's an area where we can easily blend without running into too much trouble. And then I like to go underneath with a deep plum. And you can always go over that later with a sparkly 
color if you want, but for right now I'm going to use the matte deep plum and touch that up a little bit on my own later. Let's see. And uh, I will go over that perhaps with some liner a little bit later just for the precision and um, a little bit of cat eye mascara on the outer um, lashes. So next what I'm going to do is the one of the um, Jeffree Star colors from uh, his holiday collection. And let's see, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try out the Goldie color. It's, it's known in his collection as, what does that say? Oh my goodness, I don't know, it's so small, it's hard to actually tell what it says, but there's some really uh, interesting names in here. So... Anyway, it's just a matter of going in there and taking a good look. Like this one is called Jeffrey Who. There's one that's called Get Off the Property, although I'm not really sure if that's in the holiday collection. But he always has some brilliant name going on to go with the brilliant packaging. This one is called Clout. So I take the mirror and I go like that. Okay, like that, And you want to let it completely dry before applying any other color for depth. Or for whatever purpose you would apply it for. And I don't use uh, liner. I just figured, and they, Jeffrey does have sets that involve a liner, you know, with a lipstick and a liquid lipstick. I personally feel that if you have textural definition in the lip, you know, there's not much point to that. So, excuse my winter allergies, or who knows what it is. Could be a winter cold or flu impending here. Okay. So. Okay, and then what I'm going to do afterwards I'm going to wipe, the, wipe this off even though it's dry even though your first layer is dry if you're not absolutely certain you can just take your cleaning solution and do that. Okay, so here we go. The Jeffree Star. And I put a little bit of the balm. Uh, there's a cheek balm that I got in a package and a bag, a sample bag that I put underneath. Um, so I may or may not go over with a blush afterwards, but anyway, here you go. And that's your, um, I call it Hana Cat, or Salquette's Gone, but, or um, 
Logica. <laughs> and for my base product, I used a sample from a Sephora purchase. They sent uh, samples from various makeup manufacturers to try out. And I just use whatever light color they put in the um, packet of samples. Okay, I will try to see you tomorrow then. Happy Katika!